for our meeting. So firstly, let's start by getting your name and what, what you're actually doing here. Um, I'm James Munro, I'm ceiling fixer by trade. Yep. Do you want to tell me what's your actual assignment doing? Uh, basically, we just have to construct a small little um, module, three walls, basically from the ground up, mark it out on the ground, and then just steal it all out to create the walls, put a ceiling in, then line it all, and then plaster everything and finish it. So, do you want to tell me your history with your trade? So when, why, where'd you start? About why I started and everything. Um, well, basically I was just in year 10 and I didn't like school and I, I thought the best option would be to get a trade. And I left straight away, got into this and I liked it so I just stick, stuck at it. And um, I've done pretty well in it so I'm enjoying it. And so I hear I, you've yeah. also been training other, other new members? Well? Yeah. Um, I'm actually employed as a trainer of apprentices now, at the moment. Um, I'm actually a tradesman. I finished my apprenticeship about a year ago, so, and now I'm training apprentices, yeah. What do you enjoy the most about doing what you do? Um, I don't know, I like, I like the fact that we're finishing trade and um, it's a, one of the last things that, that gets done to finish a house and it's just, I don't know, satisfying to know that you've done that in someone's house. Some people pay millions of dollars for their houses, so, yeah. How did you get involved into World Skills? Um, I was nominated by my work, yeah. Um, just nominated for the state competition, and yeah, and just come from there, yeah. How important is World Skills to your career, would you say? Uh, pretty important, I'd say. It'd be a nice, good thing on the resume. Um, Probably get a job quite easy, I'd say, just for competing, not even winning anything. I think it's a pretty big thing, so I'm taking it pretty seriously, I guess. Yeah. How did you train for this experience? Um, how did I train? Uh, they gave us like a rough copy of our plan about oh, a couple months ago, and uh, my work just let me have a, a go at it. But I do, I do it every day, so it's basically quite easy, I guess. Yeah. What are your expectations? What are you hoping to accomplish throughout the one week? Oh, I ho I'm hoping to win the competition, but I don't know. It's quite quite close because the, the project we've got isn't really that complex. It's more pretty basic, so you've got to get like really good attention to detail to, to get noticed that you've got a better thing than everyone else. So yeah, it's going to be quite hard. Right there. All right, in the near future, where do you see yourself with your trade? Uh, well, I'm hoping to start my own business, start a company maybe one day. I'm actually, once I'm done here, I'll be going back to WA and I'm actually starting out on my own as a, a subcontractor. So I'm hoping to go from there and try and do something bigger. Yeah.